It's a brand new week here in Forza Horizon 5. That means there is a brand new car for us to check out, and it is going to be this thing. This is the 2003 Mustang SVT Cobra. This thing has 390 horsepower, 390 foot-pounds of torque. It weighs 3,738 pounds out of a 4.6 liter supercharged engine, by the way. This thing is supercharged, which is super cool. It is rear wheel drive at B-Class 639. Taking a look at this thing, it sort of does look like, you know, new edge Mustangs of the day. However, it does have a different hood design. It has a different bumper design. And the rear deck lid is, or like the spoiler, it looks a bit different as well. It looks a little bit beefier, looks a little bit cooler, and it also says Cobra back here on the back bumper. It does have dual outlets, single tipped exhaust, one on each side, and it has an SVT badge right here on the left side of the trunk. Now, fun fact really quick, there was only 8,394 Cobras made in the year of 2003. 1,234 of those were silver. However, there are two silvers that you can choose from. There was a metallic silver, which was 992 models, which would be this one. And there was a satin silver, which is 242 models. This one is the, you know, greater of the two at 992 models. But still, this is a damn good looking car nonetheless. Exploding the vehicle, we do have access to every single door that can open. Now we have the supercharger here with the 4.6 liter uh, V8 uh, engine down there. Checking out trunk space, we do have quite a bit of trunk space back here, especially for a Mustang. There is maybe you can fit like one or two bodies in there, but that's basically about it. You really can't fit a lot in there, but two bodies and you should be pretty damn golden. Hopping into the interior of the SVT Cobra, this thing, you can tell it's from 2003, okay? It does have like the old school, like radio type stuff right there. All your presets are there as well. You have your AC on top of that. And there is a manual six speed transmission as well as a manual parking brake, which you can see right here on the bottom corner. Mind your ears if you guys are wearing headphones like me, I'm gonna do a sound check of the engine in three, two, one, and go. Okay. Sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty throaty. You can barely hear that supercharger whine. Let me let me turn it up again. You can barely hear that supercharger whine, but it's there. It's it's really cool. I like it. We're here at Arkham Mulehead Circuit with our SVT Cobra from 2003. Here we go. Not a lot of wheels spin offline because of launch control. However, we are under the retro muscle category, so we are against. What the frick are you doing? We are against some other cars that are in the retro muscle category. That's an SVO right there. That's not even a real Fox body. That was a Mustang SVO. Get the frick out of the way. Please. Oh, shoot. That Crown Vic tried to take out the Fox body. That was crazy. All right. Dude, the car sounds so good, man. The car sounds so good from the outside. Ooh, a little bit of spinning. A little bit of weight distribution right here on the rear end. Kind of slides out a little bit. Okay, this thing needs some better tires and some better brakes because already it is sliding out in corners. Like, look at this. I'm not even trying to slide that out, and it, it'll slide out in corners. That's insane. The brakes need to be touched up just a little bit. We're in third place, though, which is good. Moving on to the third lap, we are in first place at 135 miles an hour. Got to slow down for the corner. Ooh, spits a little bit of flames coming off of the downshift. Oh, shoot, I upshifted by accident. Holy crap. There we go. All right, brakes, man, brakes. Yeah, I have to brake super early for these corners, man. We need to upgrade brakes and we upgrade tires. That's like the main thing. We can always add power, but we're not gonna go anywhere without some proper tires. All right, careful with this corner, here we go. We're gonna take this thing in first place, man. Absolutely insane vehicle. 2003 SVT Cobra, first place. Let's take this thing to the upgrade shop and fit some upgrades to it. We're here at the upgrade shop with the Mustang SVT Cobra from 2003. Let's see what kind of swaps we can do. So, oh, wow, we have a lot. Okay, so a 6.2 liter V8, a diesel, 7.7 .7 liter V12, a V10, a V8. I think this is the, one of the newer ones. A racing V8 and a V6 twin turbo. Maxing out the stock engine, we can put out about 846 horsepower, but I kind of want a little bit more out of it. So we might do... The 7.2 liter racing V8, putting out 850 horsepower, and we have some other mods we can throw on. A supercharger and a twin turbo. I'm going to twin turbo this thing. I'm going to keep it rear wheel drive also, because it's going to be absolutely absurd to drive this thing. We have Celine parts? What? Hold on. Ooh, hold on. Mm. 
I kind of like the Cobra one better. But if you like the Celine part, you could go for Celine. And then there's Forza Arrow, which just sucks in general. But that's kind of cool. All right, let's go over here. Ooh, Ford parts. Ooh, the, you have like the stock Ford Mustang uh, wing of a Celine wing, which is uh, that's absurdly wide for some reason. You can a wing delete and a Forza Arrow. Rear bumpers. We have the Celine rear bumper. Oh God. Oh my God. So the Cobra looks good. But the Celine looks a little bit better, honestly. I'm gonna rock the Celine. You know what? I'm gonna rock the Celine in general. We're gonna do a Celine clone. That's what we're doing. All right. Ooh. Uh, I like the stock version, but I'm gonna run Celine for that. And we have a Celine hood scoop. Ooh, that looks good. What in the world? Okay. I don't know if I want to do the Celine wing. I kind of like the stock. No, the Celine wing is too much. It, it just looks kind of weird like that. I'm going to run the stock wing. I think that it looks a little bit cleaner and it looks a little bit better to me. Tires. We do need some tires. Let's do semi-slicks. Um, let's go over to 305s in the front. That's a fat front tire. What the hell? 315s in the rear. Okay, respectable size. We have some track width options. Let's poke those to the side. Give a little bit of a spacer action. What is this? We can make the tire size fatter. Nah, I'm going to leave that stock. But you could do that for the rear. So you could like drag race it. Okay. Oh, dude, that's going to that's gonna be sick when it comes to drag tuning this car. But that, that'll be later. That'll be later. I love the stock wheels, but you can make them bigger. I'm going to do 18s because I think a little bit bigger, is, it really doesn't hurt it. And to me, it looks a little bit better with some bigger wheels. Coming over to platform and handling, we do need some brake upgrades. That's going to give us an efficiency of 33%, which is very, very good. We have, ooh, suspension mods. Look at this. Look at how freaking far that drops. Race suspension looks so good. You also have drift, which drops it down just a little bit more. And rally. I'm going to keep it on race, though. As always, with any turboed vehicle in this game, you do have the option of anti-lag. And it spits out a buttload of flames, dude. We are putting out 1,356 horsepower. 2,772 pounds is how much we weigh. And we're at S1 class 883. Coming over to factory paint options, we have the silver, we have the black, we have a blue, which looks kind of weird, kind of cool though, a red, which looks very, very menacing, and a yellow. I think the red looks good, honestly. I'm not, I'm not really a fan of red cars, and I've always talked about this before, and it's because the taillights kind of blend in with the, with the vehicle itself, but... I think it looks really, really good in red because the taillights have like this black border around them. We are back at Arkham with our Celine Mustang from 2003. It's going to have a lot of wheel spin off the line, dude. This thing has so much horsepower and it weighs so little. Oh, shoot. Chill. We're in 12th place. That's unfortunate. All right, here we go. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Chill. It wants to spin. It wants to spin. I had to push that, that Crown Vic out of the way. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Ah, oh, stop spinning so much, dude. That's like 25% throttle, for real. When we got to the third lap, we're in seventh place. Oh, frick. Nah, dude, this thing is hard to control. Stupid Crown Vic. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. I don't like... I freaking hate how they look. Crown Vics are so ugly. Oh, shoot, chill. I didn't mean to wheel spin. Hey, what is wrong with you? Nah. Okay, I think we're going to take this in 7th place because it is so hard to control this vehicle. I'm literally like 25% throttling all the way. And like here's full throttle. That's full throttle. 4th gear. Full throttle. Insane. It just spins, dude. It is so crazy. Full throttle again. 5th gear. And 7th place. Cross the line. I'll take it, man. It's hard to control this thing, but... Let's take this thing to the highway and run a top speed test. We're at the highway, gonna do a top speed run with the Mustang Celine SVT from 2003. Let's see, I'm gonna do a third gear launch. This thing's just gonna spin up its wheels, dude. There's no way. No way it'll catch grip. We have drag tires in the game, obviously, but uh, I'm not gonna put in those on right now. Oh frick, a lot of wheel spin third gear. Still spinning in fourth. Catches grip later in fourth at 167. I'm off the road, Jesus Christ. All right, let's go, let's go. Here we go. Fifth gear. Remember, this thing has 1,356 horsepower, so we should get a good top speed. 220 going to the sixth gear. Holy crap. Still gaining 240. 245. 250. 255. 260. 
Oh god, we're we're floating a little bit. Got some crests that we're gonna slide around in. Oh, it wants to slide, dude. 264? 265? I said that weird, but it's fine. Dude, we are moving. 268? I feel like we're I feel like we're maxing out six gear. Okay, let's go to tune really quick. And I'm gonna drop down six gear just a bit so we can get a little bit more speed out of it. That should be fine. Alright, we're going uphill currently, so we're gonna lose speed. But right now, we should go downhill in a second. Oh shoot. Here we go. 264, 65, 67, 68. Going downhill. 270. 271. Nah, dude. 271 miles an hour. 269. 268 is probably going to cruise that. That's pretty fast for a freaking Mustang from 2003. Like, that is quick and a half. Can we take this corner, though? Nah. We're just going to slide. Yep. Okay. Can't take that corner at any kind of speed like that. That was too fast for this thing. Holy crap, though. This Mustang's awesome, honestly. I'm going to drive it around a lot in this game. It is amazing. Now, I am probably going to rock the stock engine for this vehicle when I drive it around in the game. You know, just a casual drive. But this thing is amazing. How to unlock this thing is super easy, super simple. Come over here to the festival playlist, bang out 20 points on the winter season, and the Mustang SVT Cobra from 2003 will be yours. Or you could you could literally Celine clone this thing and have a proper Celine Mustang from 2003 with 1300 plus horsepower. Well, that's gonna wrap it off, guys. Thanks a ton for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Smack the like button if you did. Comment down below what you guys want to see next here in Forza, because there's a lot of cars that are still missing it from you know other games. Looking at you, Pontiac G8, where the hell are you at? Thanks a ton for watching, and try to make your day a great day.